guys and welcome back to the family fudge now normally on my bunches of lunches series I show you exactly what I pack for my kids school lunches but this week and next week we're actually going on fall break so we don't have any school except for Monday Monday we have school but on Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday of this week we're actually headed to Disneyland so if you'd like to see what I pack for lunch on the days we go to Disneyland then stay tuned Okay guys, now if you don't already know, we actually don't live that far from Disneyland. So when we go there, we do like to pack our lunches. It helps us save money and time while we're in the park. And I take some help from the store, you guys. I don't make it very fancy, I just go for easy and something I know the kids are gonna like without making a huge mess. Good morning guys and happy Monday. Now because this is the only school lunch that I'm making this week, I wanted to make it extra special. And of course I did include PB&J since it's Monday. So I started with some regular slices of white bread, which I removed the crusts from. And of course I do save the crust, you guys. Next, I used my rolling pin to flatten out the bread just a bit. This is gonna make it much easier for me to roll up our sandwiches when I'm done. Next, I'm just gonna put a thin layer of peanut butter all the way to the edges of the bread and also a tiny bit of jam as well. Then I'm just gonna roll these up and slice them. So essentially, we have some PB&J sushi. Super cute and easy to make. Then I just took our PB&J roll-ups and added them to a skewer. This is a plastic reusable skewer that I got from Daiso. Now to go along with that, I have a really beautiful looking fruit salad. This has some pineapple, strawberries, and kiwis. For our vegetable today, I'm sending some sugar snap peas. And in this tiny little container, I have some sesame salad dressing to go along with the snap peas. And over here, I have a few little slices of turkey pepperoni. Now I just added these to a cute little pick as well, just to make it a little bit more fun. Now for today, I'm actually sending this tiny little fork from the Dollar Tree. Isn't that cute? It's actually plastic, even though it looks like it's metal, but I think the kids will think this is really fun and cute. Now to go along with that, I have a crunchy snack as well. Now I know these look like rice cakes, but they're actually popcorn cakes. These are the Skinny Pop popcorn cakes in the white cheddar flavor. I think the kids will really like these. And then I'm also sending a regular old string cheese. So now I'm just going to put my lids on and then we'll head out the door. Okay guys, now I have Mackenzie here with me. Hi. And we're gonna see how the kids did today. Let's see, Mackenzie's, Jackson's, and Lily's. Let's start with Mackenzie's. How'd it go today, Mackenzie? It was yummy. Did you like everything? I I really liked the the pepperonis and the peanut butter and jelly roll-ups. They were cool when they were rolled up, huh? Yeah. But what about your salad dressing? I don't like that kind of salad dressing. But that's my favorite. You don't like it at all? I like the homemade one. You like the ranch better? Yeah. Okay, well next time. Okay, on to Jackson's. Let's see. I think he maybe ate only one sugar snap pea, so that's not the best, and he left quite a bit of the, his little popcorn cake. Now I did try these and they have sort of a different texture than, than a rice cake would. It's a little bit um, harder, so I might not buy those again. But, let's see, oh, he also left most of his salad dressing. So overall, not bad. I see that he also left his string cheese, but I'm gonna go ahead and stick this back in the fridge and he can eat that later. Now for Lily, let's see. She ate all of her fruit except for one little piece. And she ate all of her peanut butter and jelly. She also has a little bit of her popcorn cake left, but she ate all of her sugar snap peas, which is amazing. I'm pretty shocked about that. And she ate most of her salad dressing as well. And it looks like she even ate her string cheese, so that's pretty good. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. So today's lunch is coming at you from Disneyland day one. The kids are having some Uncrustables, and they each picked a bag of chips, and they also are sharing this one with their apples, grapes and cheese, and then a yogurt. Here it comes! Here it comes! Good job! Is that yummy? Yummy! Uh-oh! <laughs> Hi! How 
How's your lunch, guys? Good. Yes. Now, Disney totally lets you bring the food into the park. It's not a problem at all. In fact, all of these things they actually sell in the parks. We're just saving some money by bringing it ourselves. But we are also ordering something from the restaurant as well. That way I don't feel bad about taking up the table, if you know what I mean. Although this is not a sit down, take your order sort of restaurant. It's very casual, quick service. So anybody can come and sit here. <gasps> you need some more? Okay, ready? Good job. <laughs> you want some more? What's the sign for more? <gasps> what? Look at that thing. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at the flowers on there. Look, there's like gold dust on there. This is the milk and honey funnel cake from the Hungry Bear restaurant. Look how fancy. Now, of course, we're all going to share this, and it's not gluten or sugar free at all. Okay, guys, here's what's left of lunch. They ate it all. Plus, we also shared a funnel cake, which was delicious. Are you guys ready for lunch? Yeah. yeah. What are you having today? I'm having testicles, glaze, which is cheddar and sour cream, and my activity on yogurt. And some. Uh, Fruit? Yes. And I'm having this and this. And we have some mac and cheese with bacon inside of a bread shaped a bread cone. I can't get it right. Are you hungry? Yeah. Okay. Okay, here's how they did. Everybody finished their food except for Lily. She has a bit of her sandwich left and maybe two bites of yogurt. And we do have a couple of cubes of cheese, but we're gonna save those for Griffin. He's over there, and he's sleeping. So maybe he'll have that cheese later. How was lunch today, girls? Good. What was your favorite part? The chips and the new sandwich that I've never tried before. Yeah. What part did you like? The yogurt and the chips. I think you need a napkin. No more. <laughs> Say, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Are you hungry? We can make this thing with it. It's lunchtime. Griffin is eating a croissant, and John's gonna have a salad. These guys are gonna have Uncrustables and fruit and yogurt. And then, what did you get for later, Kenzie? Uh, cotton candy. That's cotton our candy, lunch. that's and right. And breadsticks. And breadsticks and cheese, that's right. We're just sitting here next to the Rivers of America. And, yeah. Okay, dig in, guys. And we're eating the steak. Okay guys, it's time to clean up the lunch. Now as you can see, let's see, that's Griffin's. He didn't eat his, that's okay. <laughs> the rest of the kids ate theirs except for Lily. She left a little bit of her sandwich and the kids weren't super crazy about these. They were okay, but I probably wouldn't buy them again. They ate all of their fruit. John ate his salad and they also shared some Doritos. Good afternoon friends and happy Friday. So we are back from Disneyland today, but we're off of school as well. So we're eating lunch at home today. Now I have all of the kids with me. Do you want, guys wanna say hi? Hi. So tell our friends, how did you like the lunch at Disneyland? I really, I really liked all the new sandwiches we tried of Uncrustables and yeah. I loved the honey cake. Yeah, so we, we brought some food with us and we bought some food as well. So it was a good combination, but we're right back to homemade lunches today. We did have a few uh, croissants left over from our trip, so I'm serving them as sandwiches today. I did run by the grocery store to pick up a rotisserie chicken, and I just chopped up a bit and added it to my croissant with a little slice of cheddar cheese and some barbecue sauce. Quick and easy, and I know the kids are going to love it. Does it look good, you guys? Yeah. Okay, so to go along with that, I also picked up a, a fruit bowl with some pineapple. This is fresh pineapple. And I'm also serving some dates. I've had these for quite a while. These are actually date rolls. Um, they have coconut on the outside, and they were getting a little bit um, hard. So I would go ahead and slice them up for the kids just so they would be a little bit easier to eat. And then I also opened up a can of olives because the kids like those, right? Yeah. You like olives? And we have some sugar snap peas with no ranch because I'm all out of ranch and I just did not have a chance to make any. So I'm gonna go ahead and serve this to the kids and then when they're done, I will show you what they ate. Okay, here you go, Mackenzie. Thanks. And here's Lily's. 
Okay guys, here's how it went. Overall, not too bad. Mackenzie did the best job. Good job, Mackenzie. Thanks. Did you like everything? Yeah, I especially love the sandwiches. The sandwiches were good, yeah. Now Jackson didn't eat much of his food, but I can't really blame him because he has a cut on the inside of his mouth right now, and so maybe I shouldn't have given him pineapple. That was a little bit not good for him. Yeah, because sometimes if you have a cut inside your mouth, it can make, pineapple can make yeah, it stick. Yeah, that was making it hurt for him. So he didn't eat those, or he ate maybe one or two pieces. He also didn't eat his date roll, but I do have to say it is pretty hard. Those got a little bit too old, and he did leave his, um, and a cup of olives so you know when you have an owie in your mouth it's kind of hard to eat and then Lily actually did pretty good she ate all of her sandwiches and her fruit she just left a couple of little snap peas definitely not as uh, as popular without the ranch so okay friends thank you so much for joining me for a little bit of a different bunches of lunches today now if you'd like to see last week's video you can go ahead and click on the link up here and if you'd like to see one of my other videos you can click on the link down there and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching, guys. And don't forget to join me next week because I'm going to share a week of all at-home lunches because we are off school next week as well. And all of our lunches are going to be right here at home. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.